man. I don't think there are any fish in this lake. It's not hungry, that's all. What do you mean not hungry? Fish are always hungry. Yep. Like I said, there aren't any fish in this lake. Well, maybe we're just fishing in the wrong spot. Or the water is bad. What's that supposed to mean? Y'all haven't heard the stories about this place? The stories about the man in the lake? The man in the lake? What are you talking about? My older brother and his friends told me that this kid drowned here a long time ago. Really? What happened? I don't know for sure. I just know that he drowned. And now that they say this place is haunted. That's just nonsense. Your dumb old brother made that up. You guys caught any fish? No. No fish in this lake. No fish, huh? All right, well, uh, why don't you guys pack up your stuff and head on back to camp. It's almost time to eat. Ooh, sounds good to me. Hey, Josh. Yeah, Billy, what's up? Earlier today, Tatum was telling us that this place was cursed. Yeah, what's all this about the man in the lake? Yeah. So you guys have heard about the man in the lake. So you know about it? See, I told you it was real. Yeah, of course it's real. Really? Absolutely. You guys want to hear about it? We're not going to start telling ghost stories, are we? Oh, no, this is not a ghost story. You see, this really happened. It was about 25 years ago. Yeah, it was awful. There was these kids who came down here on one summer afternoon to uh, go swimming. Yeah, but there was this one kid that nobody really liked. He was, uh, he was kind of slow. So, uh, I, th I think his name was, uh, Jason? Jason, yeah. Jason, all right. So, Jason wasn't exactly popular with the other guys. But he did have one friend, and his friend invited him to go swimming with him and the other kids. Yeah, now you see, Jason was really excited about this because all he wanted to do was fit in. All right, guys, get the water. But there was one little problem. Jason was horrible at swimming. Raining, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you see, Jason started walking out little by little, right? And before he knew it, he stepped off this ledge into this ridiculously deep water. never came back up. Yeah, and then that night, Jason's mother got really scared, right? Because her son hadn't come home. So she starts calling around, and uh, when his friend told her they went swimming, she got real worried, because she knew he couldn't swim. And then she called the police. So the police searched the lake and all the woods, and you know, they never found Jason's body. Eventually, they just called off the search. And since her husband had died a few years earlier, and with her son gone, Jason's mother committed suicide in her grief. No way. Yeah. You know they say Jason never drowned in that lake? They say he remains here to this day. And legend has it that he takes out his revenge on anybody who comes into this forest. It's his forest. You guys are just kidding, right? Oh, of course not. Eric. Tell them about those uh, campers a few years back that went missing. Huh? 
The campers that went missing? Oh, yeah. All right, so um, about five years ago, you see, is when it happened. And I, all the locals were scared, right? Nobody ever came up to this campground. But there's this one group from the city. They, they didn't know what happened. They didn't know about Jason. So they came up camping over the weekend. I think uh, one of them had bought the campground and he was cleaning it up. And they came up on this very night. It was Friday the 13th. Sure. I'll get it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> hey, you guys coming? Yeah, just a minute. Go ahead. Okay. You know she has a crush on you. She does not. Well, why do you think she wanted to come on this little outing? You have nothing to worry about. You're my only girl. Hmm. Hmm. You go on inside. I'm gonna talk to Kyle for a sec. What you doing wrong? You probably shouldn't. Shouldn't do that. Do what? Uh, smoke that cigarette. Put on all these gas pumps. Why is that? It's just a safety, safety thing for the group. You know, if you blow up or something, you, know, you should put that out. Happy? Happy? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Sweet. All right. Hello, ladies. How are you today? We're just fine, Sheriff. Looks like you're shopping for a camp truck. Yeah, we sure are. I don't see a camper outside. And the only campground near here is an old RV park on Highway 78. Uh, no, sir. Actually, our friend just bought an old campground around here, and we're going to help him fix it up this weekend. Really? Yeah. Actually, the place isn't too far from here. Um, I think it's called Camp Crystal... Uh... Camp Crystal Lake? Yes. Yes, that's it. And your friend just bought that property. Yeah, he did. Why? Mm -hmm. oh, man, what's the deal? We're just gonna be like pruning out the hedges for this camp. This is a potty pooper. What the hell was I thinking? You're going to Camp Crystal Lake, ain't ya? Excuse me? He's not gonna like you being there. He's not gonna like it at all. You're all gonna die! All of you! You're gonna die! Hi, Sheriff. So you're the new owner of Camp Dead. Camp Dead? He means Camp Crystal Lake. Apparently your campground has quite the reputation around here. Really? What do you mean, reputation? Well, Sheriff here says that the place is haunted. I never said haunted. I said jinxed. The place is bad news, my friend. Now, you never said anything about this campground being haunted. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> hey, look, Josie's jerky. So cute. <laughs> so what did that sheriff tell you guys? I can tell you exactly what he said. He said you folks best stay away from Camp Dead. We don't call it that for nothing, you know. Well, uh, thanks for the advice. Now, how much do we owe you? $16.99. Right, well, here's 20. Just keep the change. Let's go, ladies. Best be careful out in them woods now. I tell you, build a big campfire and stay right next to it all night. Thanks. Not that it'll do them any good. <laughs> it don't do them a damn bit of good. <laughs> <laughs> So 
they all piled into the car and headed out to Camp Dead. They already know where this is going. Be quiet, Bill, and let him finish the story. Yeah. My friend Tommy said that his brother was chased out of the woods by old Jason. Barely <laughs> made it out alive. That's great, Tatum. Now, let's get back to the real story. So they got to the campground and started setting up their tents. Possibly in this very spot where we're camping. Ah, yeah. So what do you think about uh, the place? place? Well, it's obviously beautiful. It's fixer-upper, but it's fixer-uppable. Okay, so what do you want to pick? Um, well, you know, we could off a little bit, and we clear out some of this brush, and spot some spots for tents. Okay. Like that. And, uh, Tell her how confident you feel this fire is going to catch the fucking tent on fire. Listen, seriously, let's go take a walk. Anybody want to come go look around for a little while? You want to come with me? I want to look. I'll come with. Who's with? I'll come with. He's coming with yeah. us. Let's go. Okay. Huh? Cool. Uh, I'm staying right here. Yep. Thank All you. All right. Hey, you guys don't be gone too long. We need to put a game plan for tomorrow together. Right. Okay. Uh, Wait, won't be gone long. I told you she liked you. <laughs> no. No. So this place, it's not that bad. <clears throat> Well, the best part about it is it's all campsites. I mean, there's a latrine that needs some work. I am sure it needs some work. <laughs> but besides that, it's all basic landscaping stuff. That's why I brought the weed eaters. Well, honey, don't forget that these are your friends, and they're helping you because they want to. I yeah, know. So take it easy on them. Just look at that view. Trust me, this is a no-lose situation. Yeah, so I you mean, really I got, think this place can make some money? I got a great deal in this fixer-upper. I mean, we're going to have the loan paid back in one summer. The latest two. It really is beautiful. Oh, really? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> You're too you know funny. <laughs> you know, this whole place is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, I like it. It'd be a lot better if we had some cold beer. Okay, Russ, you know Spencer is not trying to torture you. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? I don't know. Do you think it belongs to anyone? I don't know, maybe it just washed up. What do you think? Let's know. take it out. Oh! Oh! Russ! God, you're let's such just, an let's ass. Go. Come on, let's go for a ride. I'll help you down. Russ, wait a minute. Hold yeah, on. Hold yeah, on, hold yeah. on. Let me go get my bathing suit. Uh, all right. Okay? I'll, I'll be right back. I'll prep the boat. Okay. Russ. I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Oh, 
lucky I'll kick your ass for that. I'm a certified lifeguard, you know, I can, I can probably teach you how to swim. I'll uh, charge uh, you a dime. Yeah, shut up, Russ. What the hell are you doing? Are you following my friends, you freak? He knows you're here. Oh, yes, he knows. What the hell are you talking about? You're all gonna die here if you stay here. Get the hell away from me! Better get the hell out of me before I call the sheriff on your ass. Sheriff can't help you now. No one can. This place has a death curse. You're all doomed. You'll see. You'll see. You're all doomed! So, uh, how's the swim? Well, there wasn't one because she can't swim. He's such a liar. Hey, it guys. Was great. You're not gonna believe this. Do you remember the guy with the freaky eye in the store? Yeah, yeah. the creeper. Yeah. yeah. I just saw him a few minutes ago over there in the woods. What? What was he doing? Yeah. He was following you both. Oh, following us? Yeah, he was like stalking you guys. I knew it. I felt like something was out there watching us. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah. how, do you, how do you know that? So I just got him. I took care of it. How'd you take care of it? Don't worry about it, I just took care of it. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Well, well, let's just stay vigilant and, uh, you know. All right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, this place is getting what a freak. Really? Nice spot you chose here, Spencer. Oh. Hey, hey, we're just, uh. Here comes so old Sheriff Andy. Unbracket. Spencer Douglas. Look, I wanted to apologize for what happened earlier at the store today. I'm just having a ride. Perfectly all right, Sheriff. It's fine. You know, I'm a little surprised that somebody bought this place and wanted to open it back up. But I wish you the best of luck with it. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, Sheriff, you never did tell us why they call this place Camp Dead. <laughs> yeah, you know, back when I was a kid, this was a nice place to come to in the summertime, but not anymore. I damn sure wouldn't let any of my kids up here. Too many bad things have happened. Really? Like, what kind of? bad things. Uh, three or four years ago, we had a couple of hikers, the Andersons. Disappeared without a trace. Never found them. Then two years ago, some kid hanged himself in one of those trees down there by the lake. Six months ago, a hunter and his son, they came up here to do a little hunting, vanished into thin air, just like that. We searched three days, never found either of them. You know, my, uh, my real estate agent never really mentioned any of this to me. <laughs> Can you blame her? Would you have bought the place if she told you that? I bet you got a pretty good bargain on this. I got a great bargain. Yeah. Hey, Sheriff, you know the guy with the messed up eye? With the weird hat? You're going to die. You're all going to die. Yeah, that would be Ralph. Yeah, well, Ralph was in the forest following our friends. That's not cool. No, look, I wouldn't worry about it. I, Ralph's not going to hurt anybody. Look, he's a nutcase, <laughs> but he's harmless. I'll tell you what, I'll look for him on my way out, okay? <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not here to tell you that something bad's gonna happen if you stay here. I just thought you might like to know a little of the not so nice history of this place. If you kids look out after each other while you're up here, okay? I'll stop by tomorrow and see how you're doing. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> hey, enjoy your supper. It smells pretty good. Thanks. See you later, Sheriff. All right. Wow. Great. Such history. What a bunch of baloney. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. So you're saying that it's not true? Uh, borderline ridiculous. <laughs> just come on over here, Ralph. I want to talk to you for a minute. I ain't done nothing, Sheriff. I'm just minding my own business. Come on over here, Ralph. Come on. Now what's this I hear about you messing with them nice people that bought this place? I ain't been messing with no one. That's not what they tell me, Ralph. Not me. I want you to get on that bike. I want you to get on home, and you quit messing with those people. You hear me? Go on. You know what's going to happen if they stay here. <laughs> yeah, you know. Want me to give you a ride? No ride. 
All right, I'm leaving. Sheriff's Department, hold her right there! I know you're in there, and I know you killed Ralph. So why don't you make it easy on both of us and come on out? <laughs> hey, Spence. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing some thinking about what the sheriff was saying. You have to admit, it's kind of messed up what he said about all those people. Yeah, it is. You know, a lot of people don't believe it, but people around here, they sure do. Could happen on night just like this. It is Friday the 13th. There's no moon, 
No stars. No light. Someone could be creeping around outside this campsite right now. We wouldn't see a thing. Dude, you're freaking me out. Just think about it. I'm gonna run to the tent real quick. Sorry to interrupt your story, buddy. Okay, Don't Spencer, you are not funny. Who's being funny? This is serious. You'd be walking around these woods right now. Oh gosh, please. We do have to sleep here. Exactly. All I'm saying is Jason's out there. Waiting. Watching. It's only a matter of time before he finds us. <laughs> Right. That, that, was, that was a little bit funny. Uh, that was a little bit funny. It took you forever to get to the point Whatever. when we talked about it. Look, I, to... I believe in suspense. Oh, I was suffocating. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> you guys got to admit, that was a little bit funny. No, no it wasn't. It wasn't Not funny. at all. Now that we got that out of our system, let's get down to some real business. Russ and Kyle, you guys are going to jump on the weed eaters tomorrow and clear out the other sites like we did this one. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah. Okay. You two are going to clean up the bathhouse. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, 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 that reminds yeah. me. I actually got the water working at the bathroom or bathhouse or whatever you want. Nice. If that's what you want to call it, it's kind of nasty up there. But uh, anyway, shower's working. I'm going to take one. Anyone want to come? Nice try. I don't think so. Not this time, hot shot. All right, lesbian. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Russ, come on. Well, I was thinking about taking that evening swim, babe. You game? Yeah, you guys want to come? Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna hang back in my tent and read my book. Okay. We won't be gone long. No. We'll be back. You, you guys behave there. Of course, naturally. It's hot. So, what do you think about all of this? this bathroom? Spencer, a lot of fucking rats maze. Nice job. The lodge. It's a nice home. Kyle.
guess it's only you and me, baby. Hey, Jenna? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Jenna. What? Did you hear that? Hear what? A noise. Uh, do you want to come out and go check it out? Sure, just give me a second. Are you coming? Dude, I was changing, getting ready to well, I, I just, sleep. I'm sorry, I just kind of, I just saw something over there. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, you're high. No, I'm not high. What's, what, what's up with the sword, man? Well, I was kind of scared and, you know. Yeah, you really are high. Come on now, put it away. Okay, well, are you coming? Yeah, I guess. Do you have a flashlight? Yeah, sure. Stop laughing at me. Yeah, okay. Stop smoking all that weed. Hey, weed is good, but right now it just is freaking me out. Yeah, okay, hero, let's go. Oh, shit. shit, are you okay? Oh, no. Damn. What, uh, what happened? I think I twisted my ankle. Which one? Oh, this one. Damn. Um, let me help you out. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I can't even feel my foot. You're gonna have to go get someone. Okay, just hold on, all right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Go find Russ and Spencer. Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back. Hurry up, man. It's freaking dark as hell out here. Oh, Hey, Spence, did you find them? Sarah, I can't find Kyle, Jenna, Russ, anybody. Hmm. They're probably just walking around somewhere. I wouldn't worry about it. found any of the bodies. Not Ralph, not the sheriff, not even any of the campers. All they ever found was the kid's old car and an abandoned campsite. That's a bunch of baloney. Well, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to, but I know it's true. Well, I, uh, I think that's enough fun for one night. Yeah, time to go to bed, guys. It's at the sack. Alrighty.
<laughs> Those are funny guys. We, we thought, thought it was. was. You saw their faces, right? Oh, I saw. Oh, they were scared. Right, you guys. Well, good night. Ah, sweet dreams, boys. Sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah, that was good, man. Oh, we gotta do that next year too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Friday the 13th.